Hey up Doug, you're right, and welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and stick your thumb up me. So today I'm gonna to be doing a very quick review of this, the Titan wet dry 20 litre vacuum cleaner that I purchased from the old screw fix. I think it were about 55 quid. I'll have to go back and have a look because I've had it for about a year. So a year long review. I don't like reviews when they just get them straight out of box, use it for 10 minutes and go, yeah, oh it's, oh, it's brilliant or no, it's crap. You know what I mean? This, I've had it for a year. I've put it through its paces. I use my log burner, hoover it out with that once a week. I used it for as log cabin build. I've used it just in here, just now. I've hoovered all this out. Other projects in house, in kitchen, in bathroom, in loft, I converted as loft not to, not too long ago for Phoebe, which is our daughter. She's uh, very creative and stuff like that. So I converted the loft for a work studio for her. Let's delve in, let's have a quick look and I'm gonna show you some good things and some bad things about this, the Titan. <coughs> so, few features. That's where your vacuum comes on. If you want to put it into blow, you can you can get it blow. You can, oh, you can get blown off by your over. You stick your attachment on there and it will blow. So yeah, it's got a vacuum. It's got the blowing facility as well. Plus, it's wet and dry. So if you want to suck up something that's wet after you've been blown off, then yeah, do that. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look at a few other things. What you get in it, you get three of these attachments they all slide together to make one long hose to fit on the end of there you get the hoover attachment the flat bit it's got like a squeegee on it as well as your bristles which is great uh, and then you also get one of them pointy bits to get in your little nuts and your crannies right in your corners like that. <laughs> so you get that uh, you also get a bag that goes inside it right so let's open it up all you've got to do on here Lift that up just there underneath, same on that side. And then all you got to do, get your handle and pull it out of the inside. And as you can see, there's a filter in there. That filter, just take that off. All you got to do is unscrew that just there and that'll slide off. You can then take that outside, give it a clean, or you can go to screw fix and you can buy a replacement if you want to. Not sure how much they are, I'll have to do a bit of uh, Investigating on that, probably about 15, 20 quid I'd have thought. Can't imagine they're gonna be much more than that. So on the inside, obviously you've got your bag that all your dirt and debris will go inside of. So this bag is ready for emptying. So all you gotta do, I'll do this one-handed, it is that easy to do. Slide it off of that nozzle, just like that. Fold it around on itself, and then it's just a case of just lifting that out of there. This is the empty bag. Let's get it installed inside the Hoover. Now the bags do come in different sizes. So you do need to make sure you're getting the right size. So get your bag, put it inside just like that. Try not to have it squashed up, crinkled or anything like that. But then all you're gonna do is get that cardboardy bit, stick it over the nozzle like so. There we go, there's like a little ridge on the inside of there and it slides over and as soon as you've got it over, you'll know, there we go. Your filter just slides in between there. Make sure you've not trapped the bag anywhere on the inside of your hoover. And then it's just a case of putting them back on, giving it a test. So your hose, you've got a little arrow on there that just slides onto the front. You push that in lock it into place, that's not going anywhere. It's the exact same for the blow function. If you want it to blow, all you do, slide it in, lock it in, and then it's ready to start blowing. Not rocket science, is it, people? And then for your attachments, you just slide into each other. It's good for storage as well, because and a little feature is they all just slide onto the Hoover, one, two, three like that and then you've got a space for the attachment there as well that slides into there and you could just leave that onto there and then the top of your hose will slide onto the top of over like that and then it's pretty compact once it's stored away so good little feature that 
Right, so I've got plasterboard up and I've made a right bloody mess. So, I'm going to use me over. I'm doing a review on. So, I'm going to give you some action shots. And who don't love an action shot? Another great feature, and it is something that is so simple, yet so effective. And it seems a bit daft saying it, but it is just a little bit of Velcro on cable like that. Get your Velcro, thread it through a couple of times, and Velcro it on. How amazing is that? Something so simple, yet so effective. So when you're carrying it through out, you're not going to trip over it and then want to feel like you're going to throw it through a window. So yeah, happy days. Another great feature from the Titan. <laughs> so a quick review of the Titan. It's a great little Uber. It's worth getting if you're doing any jobs around the house, if you do a lot of DIY, get one of these. It's a whole lot better than using Dyson that misses coming in. You'll block my over again. I am going to rip your face off and smash it into ground. Uh, so yeah, get one of these, about 50 or 60 quid, I think it were this one. They do vary in prices. You can pick one up for about 30, something like that. And they're just as good as what these are. Let me stand up because my knees are knackered. It's wet and dry. It sucks and it blows. What more do you want? Sucking and it blowing. Uh, it comes with all the attachments. It comes with a replacement bag as well. There's plenty of length on cable, so it's not too short. Because uh, I know sometimes you'll get in products now and cable's about 10 centimetres long. But there's some decent length on this. Drag it round. Wheels are pretty good. Uh, so yeah, happy days. The only one thing I can find... Uh, that pulls it down a little bit is the bags having to replace the bags inside of it you do have to buy them I think I got five for a tenner I think they were something like that depending on how much you're going to use it is depending on how many bags you're going to get through to be fair that's the only downer I can find on this Hoover. Other than that, it's great. So overall, the Titan stainless steel 20 litre wet dry vacuum cleaner is a big thumb up for me. Yay. So if you're thinking about getting one, go and get one. Just don't come and nick mine because it's mine. So yeah, happy days. Right, so that's it. I'll see you later. Ta-da. Be good. Look after you, Sen. Bye.